Welcome again. Um, in the previous video, we talked about circles and basic terminologies of circles. Um, there is a question about pi. We always, whenever someone asks us what is a pi, we tend to give them the value of 3.14. But the question is, what is pi? That question is answered in these two lines. For all circles, the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is d and that remains the same right that is the ratio for any circle that you are talking about so the ratio is c over d and that is pi but how how it works c is the circumference and how to define a circumference circumference is 2 pi r what is d d is two times radius right this is circumference and this is diameter so two times radius and from here I can cross off and I am just left with pi so this is what pi is the value of pi is 3.14 okay that being said let's talk about arc length uh, because we are talking about circumference if we talk about only one portion or a small brief portion of the circumference that is called arc length. So arc length is a portion of the circumference of a circle. Keep in mind circumference is nothing but 2 pi r which is nothing but pi radius, pi uh, diameter because diameter is twice the radius. There is a concept of how to find out the arc length. It says in a circle the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the measurement of the arc to 360 degrees. They gave you a two formulas right here and then we can use these two formulas to figure out arc length. But the main confusion which lies here is oh, what is this? What do you mean by measurement of arc AB? Uh, in a more literal sense when they are talking about measurement of arc AB is they are talking about this angle, angle APB. Let's say this angle is um, X, right? So X degrees. So what they are talking about is the X degrees. So X degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi R. Why 2 pi R? Because we are just talking about a portion of a circumference not the whole entire circumference so circumference would be there so x degrees three over 360 degrees why 360 degrees because the sum total of a circle is 360 degrees and we are just looking for only one portion of the whole entire 360 degrees and because we are talking about the length that is the outside of the circle we are talking about circumference here so um, instead of memorizing all these formulas, try to find the logic. What is the logic behind it? So um, we will base our practice questions on this concept that we are talking about the x degrees that is there in the picture or in the question out of the whole entire 360 degrees of a circle. And because it is a circumference, we are uh, trying to find out the portion of a circumference. That is why we will multiply with 2 pi r or 2d or, or pi d not 2d okay let's try these two questions and let me rewrite our formula here so that we are not confused so x degrees 360 degrees times 2 pi r okay let's try this one what it says uh, it says find the arc length pr I can set my equation. I can say arc length of PR. And one important thing to understand here when we write the notation of the arc length, we use two points, right? Because that is the only, that is, uh, imagine it uh, as a, you have a string, right? And you are, you have put that string in a form of a circle, kind of a circle, right? I know it is not a good circle, but uh, you, you get my point. And then 
we are just talking about this blue portion of the circle. So I will just use these two points to label my arc, right? So arc AB, this is the symbol of arc, arc AB. In this case, we are talking about arc PR. So arc PR as we set x degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Let's put, uh, put in all the information. What is x degree here? x degrees is right here, 100 degrees. What is r? r is 12. Okay, let's put in all the information right here. So, uh, we will get 100 degrees over 360 times 2 pi times radius. Radius is 12. In this case, please remember, we will put the value of pi as 3.14. If I plug in the value again, uh, everything here, um, I will get simplified. 10 18 times 2 times 3.14 times 12. Plug it in the calculator and you will get approximate value as 20.93 inches. That is what we are looking for in this case. Okay, okay. I saw this question for you. I want you to try one question for me. Try this one. Right? So, this is question number one that you need to try. Let's take one more example. Okay, let's try one more, this one. And this is for you to try again. This is second question number two that you need to try. They're asking for arc length PQ. Let me set the equation right here. So I know it should be x degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Or I can also say that this is pi d because 2 times r is nothing but the diameter. The reason why I wrote the alternate uh, equation is because they have given us diameter here, not the radius. I can say radius is 3, but let's take it as diameter only. Use the diameter. And x degrees is 75. Let's plug it in. So we want our length, our length of PQ, label everything properly, 75, 360 degrees, you can put the degree sign, times pi is 3.14, times 9, and just put everything in the calculator. I put it in the calculator and I got approximately 5.89 yards. This is what we are looking for, happy chapter. Try question number two on your own and let me solve one word problem for you. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Uh, here you go. Yeah, it seems like a little bit messy problem because it is a word problem, but trust me, it is very, very easy. Let's give it a try. Uh, it says you ride your bicycle 40 meters, right? Yeah. How many complete revolutions you can take does the front wheel make? So they are asking for only the front wheel and how much revolution the front wheel is taking. So in this bicycle, if you uh, look closely, they have given you the radius right here as 32.5. So I can say radius is 32.5. And when they are uh, talking about the revolution, that means they are talking about circumference that is my keyword right so let's find out what is the circumference so we have the radius here so i can say 2 times pi times r if i plug everything here i will get 2 times pi times 32.5 let's leave it in the pi right now i will get 65 pi centimeter as the circumference, right? Now this is the uh, circumference in centimeter. 
but be careful they have given us uh, in meters that you rode a bicycle for 40 meters so let's convert a uh, centimeter into meters and what is the conversion conversion is 100 so 65 centimeter is nothing but 0.65 meter and because we are talking about circumference here we will say 0.65 5 because that is the circumference that I got and this is in meters. Now, uh, when you ride your bicycle 40 meters, the front wheel, wheel will make how many? So this is for one revolution. Right? The one revolution means uh, it is taking one turn. That means it is completing the one circumference. I want to know what about 40? What we will do? 40 times 40 divided because that is my di total distance. I don't know the revolution here. So I will write 40 divided by uh, is equal to number of revolution which I don't know yet. Right? And then we have the uh, circumference. So circumference is 0.65 Because if I multiply the number of revolution with the circumference, I will get the whole entire, as I was saying the uh, total circumference, right? That is one revolution. I don't know num uh, total number of revolution. That's what we are asking for. But I know the total number of revolution times circumference, that is the total distance uh, you have covered. So uh, it is just a one step equation now. I can say number of revolution would be 40 divided by 0 0.655 and I can plug it in the calculator and remember the value of pi is 3.14 that's what we are taking when I plug in the calculator I got approximately 20 revolutions because if you are getting a decimal answer right I think I got 19.6 something so I approximated into 20 revolutions so whenever they are talking about the revolutions, they are talking about the circumference. Okay, okay. I hope it made some sense. Keep studying.